Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Joe Jr. from Pioneer Gunworks and uh, I want to shoot a little video today showing you how to install your leather lever wrap. We've been having some customers calling us up saying, hey you guys don't have an installation uh, instructions for this and it's a little bit hard to sometimes describe things uh, visually you know over the phone it's it's easier to explain something to somebody when you're pretty knowledgeable at it so uh, we're gonna do a little bit of video and uh, just show you how simple this uh, this whole operation really is so when you get your your lever wrap you're gonna have the actual wrap itself you're gonna have this little sinew loop that you get here and obviously you're gonna get your little sinew string with a couple of needles what I like to do is I'll start and take one of the needles and I'll just thread it through the underside right here you can see it's on the very last hole and I like to start with it like that and then I just you know I got these kind of dangling here and what you're gonna do tighten up a little bit here is you can see I've got one positioned on the lever of this gun here you're gonna hold it so that it's facing upwards see the underside of the gun is facing upwards right in where the finger the finger hole here is on the lever and as you can see got my two pieces of sinew string pull that out there and I've got them so that the one that I pulled through on the last hole right here goes over the top and then through the corresponding hole on the other side of the flap right here so basically it's going from the outside of the of the lever wrap up over the top and then through the hole right there so what that's going to do is just cause kind of a tight little snug fit basically you're going to thread this exactly like a shoe then what I do is I take the two ends both of the needles here put them together in my hand and I sort of pull them tight right over the top of the gun and I make sure that the tips are even so you've got the same amount lengthwise makes it even when you go over it at this point what I do is I hold it with one hand I take this needle that I started with and then I thread across the corresponding hole underneath inside and out and then I pull it kind of tight like that take the other needle repeat the process just like a shoe so when you get that give this a little tug squeeze so basically this is going to connect all the way down the length heading towards the buttstock and repeat the process So at this point you can see that the lever wrap is about halfway down the length of the lever here. Remember that little circular sin sinew loop that you got with your package? This is where this comes into play. This is kind of cool. What you're going to do is when you have it about halfway laced down the length of your lever, you're going to take this little sinew lever, this little sinew loop rather, and with the loopy end facing towards the end that is still open on the top of the lever here, you're gonna stick it down this is wax coated so it'll stay where you stick it and basically just lay it like that now what we're gonna do is take the end of the needle and continue the little threading process but you're gonna thread it over the top of that little sinew loop pulling it tight just like that every time give it a little tug okay we're reaching the last 
little holes on each side. And pull it tight. So now what you've got is about half of this little sinew loop is hanging out at the end right here. This is a little integral part in installing this lever wrap just to kind of make everything nice and neat. And you've got both of these ends just kind of hanging out right here. What I like to do is I take the opposite end needle here, go over the top of the last hole that you threaded the last one inside and out of, just like that. And then pull it so that it gives kind of a straight line like that. Pull it tight again and take the same thing with the opposite needle. Exact same procedure. Push it through over the top of that last hole. It can be a little tight sometimes. There we go. And then pull it through. Once again, give it a little squeeze, a little pull. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take these two ends and tie them together inside and out and then just pull that little knot right down and that's just going to seal it up. You usually do that a couple times just to make sure that everything is nice and tight. Okay, now you've got these little two ends just hanging out. What I do is I take my handy dandy little snippers here and you're going to want to leave about maybe three quarters of an inch left. Right about like that. Okay, you got these two parts just sticking out kind of at the end. That's where this little loop comes into play. You're going to take them, stick them right through the loop, pull the two ends through. Now the other end where the little sinew loop ties, you're going to grab that with your finger or a pair of pliers, pull it through, and watch what happens. Now you've got those two little pieces of sinew pulled through and underneath where it ties like a shoe. Sometimes if it kind of hangs over the top like that, what I like to do is take a little screwdriver or whatever you have and just kind of very gently tuck these under the tie. Basically just so they look kind of nice and neat. It's not hanging out. Some people actually like to leave long lengths of that hanging out so that they can beat it and, you know, put some type of, you know, decoration or feather or something like that. And that's obviously something that you can do if you like. But that, in a nutshell, is how to put on a Pioneer Gunworks leather lever wrap.